virus infection and replication so now we will see how virus is replicated inside the host what are all the mechanisms involved in the replication of plant viruses so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so the first process so what are different types of steps or processes that will happen in a, a virus replication so now we will see one by one so the first one is attachment attachment in the sense the viruses initially come in contact with the plant or the host and they attaches to the host cells so here the plant viruses they can't able to transmit their own or in air so that they have to transmit by a vector that may be especially insects here in this diagram we can see initially it can be transmitted through insects they come in contact with the host initial step is coming in contact with the host cells so here the vectors are the main agents that can transmit the plant viruses through vectors the viruses are initially come in contact with the host cells this is the first step coming to the second one penetration and entry into the host cells so after coming in contact with the host cell the second step is penetration here viruses is normally enters into the host cell through wounds or mechanical injuries created by the vectors so when the vectors after when the vectors come in contact with the plant or that is a host cell the vector usually used to feed on the plants so during feeding what will happen there are some mechanical injuries or wounds created by the vectors so due to this mechanical wounds or injuries the plant viruses can make their way into the plant or the host so the virus enters into the host cell through wounds or mechanical injuries that is created by the vectors and other factors also maybe a strong wind or maybe some other factors that makes wounds or the mechanical injuries can make the way to the viruses that enters into the plant host so most of the plant viruses enters into the plant cell through insect damages insect damages during feeding so during feeding what will happen the plant get in so the plant get wounded by the insect because when feeding what will happen we had to feed on the leaves or the some other plant parts during that there's a small wounds or mechanical injuries or the damages that can be created by the insects in that time what will happen during feeding the insects also consist of plant virus or the inoculum that can be enters into the plant virus to the insect wounds so now we will see some of the mode of entry of plant viruses so the coming to the mode of entry so tobacco mosaic virus potato virus x and bean common mosaic viruses are enters into the plant cell through mechanical wounds so through mechanical wounds these are the viruses tobacco mosaic viruses potato virus x and bean common mosaic virus enters into the plant cells potato leaf roll virus wound tumor virus and tobacco leaf roll viruses are enters into the plant cells are penetrate into the plant cells through wounds made by the vectors and common mosaic virus or bean common mosaic virus or sorry it's not common mosaic virus cucumber mosaic virus so pea stripe virus these are all the viruses that can enters into the or penetrate into the plant cells through seed or vegetative propagation so this is initially how virus in contact after that what will happen through mechanical injuries or wounds the plant virus enters into the plant cell enters into the plant cell so after entering into the plant cell so for the multiplication process what virus has to do necessarily it has to uncoat its viral genome it has to uncoat its viral genome we all will know that all viruses are encapsulated by protein coat which provides the protection that where nucleic acid is packed inside and the many videos i told that virus is consist of protein coat and the nucleic acid packed inside this protein coat is a protective coat which protect the nucleic acid that is packed inside this is the nucleic acid which is packed inside and this is the protective coat or, or protein coat when virus enters into the plant cells what has to do it has to uncoat it protein coat because the nucleic acid contains all the necessary information for the multiplication as well as replication so after entering into the plant cell what has to do it has to uncoat or shred the capsid once enters into the host cell it has to shred the capsid or coat in coat protein 
to release the nucleic acid into the cytoplasm because the nucleic acid is packed inside if you want to release the nucleic acid into the cytoplasm it has to shed or uncoat the nucleic sorry protein coat so after shedding the protein coat the nucleic acid alone enters into the cytoplasm for replication process for replication process so the ability of uncoating is depends upon, depends upon the virus coat protein structure so uh, we have different types of coat protein structure will be there maybe rod shaped or helical shaped or the equicidal shaped so the ability of uncoating or the speed of uncoating depends upon the structure of viral coat protein we can see here uh, after attachment what will happen it will shred the nucleic acid into the cytoplasm we can see here in the, this step the nucleic acid alone is shredded into the cytoplasm into the cytoplasm this is the viral nucleic acid on the next step after releasing the nucleic acid into the cytoplasm what will happen synthesis synthesis here in this process there are two types will be there transcription and translation transcription in the sense the production of mrna that is messenger rna is called a transcription translation in the sense the message which is present or which is as a tra uh, which is uh, transporting that is mrna can be converted into proteins or the structural subunits that is called translation so now we will see during synthesis process what are all the things that happens in virus so in transcription if the viral genome is a single stranded rna the naked rna induces the host cell to produce rna polymerase before that i would like to tell during synthesis process what will happen the genome which is released into the cytoplasm or the viral genome which is released into the cytoplasm can overtake the machinery of host cell in the sense the genome can control the entire host cell mechanism or host cell machinery now the plant virus system or the host cell system is under the control of a plant virus genome now whatever the plant virus genome has instructed the host has to follow has to produce the necessary requirements that is required by the plant virus genome so here if it is a single stranded virus it is intended to produce rna polymerase rna polymerase is an enzyme which is involved in the replication process of viruses in this transcription process mrna from dna viruses is involved in dna dependent rna polymerase for the operation of double stranded dna if the viruses contains dna as a genome so the uh, dna dependent host polymerase or dna dependent rna polymerase is involved in the production of enzyme that is required by the multiplication so it is uh, very simple that i will tell you in the next slide so that you will understand very easily after entering what will happen it overtake the cell machinery this is the genome this genome overtake the machinery of a host cell and it intended to produce the enzymes that is required by the plant viruses if it is a rna viruses it forced to produce rna polymerase if it is a dna viruses it forced to produce the dna polymerase for virus multiplication the second step is the translation of mrna into protein so i told you transcription in the sense mrna that is messenger rna which consists of a message so translation in the sense the message is converted into proteins so in this translation process viral rna served as a messenger rna here the viral rna served as a messenger rna so once the it converted into messenger rna what will happen it, it immediately read by the ribosomes and force to produce the specific protein subunits that is required by the plant viruses so this messenger rna so this messenger rna what is this messenger rna viral rna is converted into messenger rna so after reading this messenger rna the ribosomes are forced to produce the specific protein units or the specific requirements that is required by the plant viruses now the host is producing the sub units that is required by the plant viruses so the viruses utilize the host machinery because the entire host machinery is now under control of viruses so the now virus is produced to utilize to produce the amino acids that is required by the plant viruses and ribosomes are transfer hosts and the, everything is under control of plant viruses now it is forced to produce the amino acids that is required by the plant viruses and the different types of protein subunits because the virus is consist of mainly two subunits that is protein coats and amino acids now after converting the viral rna into the messenger rna this is read by the ribosome we all will know the about uh, ribosomes are the main source of protein synthesis during synthesizing the proteins if we read the messenger rna by virus messenger rna or the virus uh, uh, 
RNA as a messenger RNA. The, I, I told you that virus RNA is converted into messenger RNA. So it overtake the machinery and then it forced to produce required by the proteins that is required by the uh, proteins and as well as amino acids required by the viruses. So this is transcription. After transcription, what will happen? This virus RNA is converted into messenger RNA. It can bind with the ribosome. It can bind with the plant genome. What will happen? Now it will overtake the machinery. During translation process, what will happen? The ribosomes are forced to produce amino acids required by the protein. Amino acids are proteins required by the virus. So these proteins and amino acids are required by the viruses not required by the host so this uh, so this amount of sorry this uh, subunits are produced are forced to produce are uh, you know uh, intended to produce by the virus after overtaking the cell machinery so after that the genome replication now one uh, genome replication and gene expression so how genome is rex uh, replicated and gene expressed so if the production of mrna molecule is initially to the template rna it is called replication now i will tell you in detail the host specific viral rna enzyme rna polymerase is involved in the replication of single stranded rna if it is a rna viruses rna polymerase is enzyme rna polymerase is an enzyme involved in the rna viruses replication if it is a DNA viruses, DNA polymerase is involved is an enzyme involved in the replication of DNA viruses and it encode and produce more proteins. So these enzymes are involved in virus replication that I will tell you. If it is a RNA, if the virus has to convert RNA viruses to RNA or the their nucleic acid is converted from RNA to RNA, RNA dependent RNA polymerase is an enzyme which is used in the replication of RNA viruses. Remember, RNA viruses, the enzyme used by the RNA viruses, RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Whereas from RNA to DNA, RNA dependent DNA polymerase is an enzyme which is involved in the conversion of RNA viruses to DNA. If it is a DNA viruses to RNA viruses, so DNA dependent RNA polymerase is an enzyme which is involved in the conversion of DNA to RNA. It's a very simple. If it is a RNA viruses, RNA polymerase is an enzyme which is forced to produce by the host for the replication of RNA viruses. If it is a DNA viruses, DNA polymerase is an enzyme. That's it. So the production of viral genome. So by using the host cell machinery, as I told you that the host cell machinery is now under control of viruses. So the virus starts to produce mRNA further the huge production of viral RNA particles. Now the virus starts to produce huge amount of mRNA that is messenger RNA particles. So this messenger RNA, the viral RNA can convert into messenger RNA so that the huge amount of RNA particle is going to produce here. After that conversion of huge amount of RNA particles or RNA messenger RNA, See, the ribosomes are read the, all the information and it is starts to produce the huge amount of virus particles that is a huge amount of viral amino acids and a huge amount of viral protein coat subunits. So after that uh, assembly and virions, assembly of virions and maturation of virions. So after the production of huge amount of virus particles are enough amount of our necessary virus components that is amino acids and protein coats that is required by the plant viruses. So assembly of a new synthesized viral components will, uh, will uh, you know, you know the complete matured virus particles is called virions. So the ones the nucleic acids and the protein coats are separately produced as I told you they are separately produced nucleic acid and proteins are separately produced in a cell especially in cytoplasm. So they are assembled together to produce intact virus particles is called virions. So uh, the separate produced protein coats and the separately produced nucleic acids now combinedly Combined or you know uh, they are assembled together to form a complete virus but let us consider if the nucleic acid and the protein coat are separately produced what will happen they are combined combined and produce complete matured virus particles complete matured virus particles is called virion so after producing the necessary uh, particles or necessary uh, uh, requirements what can you say necessary uh, viral components that is required by the virus they start to unite and they produce a complete virus particles is called virions. So in experimental evidence also suggests that RNA viruses can be deassembled into the constant coat protein as well as a nucleic acid 
and again reassembled into in vitro. So in in vitro conditions, the RNA viruses can be deassembled in the sense uh, they are they can be separated the protein coat and result as a nucleic acid, and they can be rearranged in in vitro conditions or laboratory conditions. We can see this is the ribosomes after production of uh, enough amount of uh, nucleic acid and uh, protein coat separately, they can be assembled here. They can be assembled and released into the outside. Now. The next one is the location of genome production, where the viruses are produced. If it is a RNA viruses, if the viruses genome is contains RNA as a genome, maybe single standard genome or double standard, that won't be a big issue. If it is a RNA viruses, the entire process will happen in cytoplasm of a plant cell. RNA viruses will replicate in cytoplasm. Remember, if it is a DNA viruses, maybe double standard DNA or single standard DNA, the entire process will take place in nucleus but released into the cytoplasm. Entire process will take place in nucleus but released into the cytoplasm. Now DNA virus is replicated in nucleus. It's a very very important. Uh, maybe this type of questions can be placed in a net or an other type of exams. So RNA viruses are multiplied in cytoplasm whereas DNA viruses are multiplied in nucleus. So after that release and spread of virus particles into the, uh, into the plant system. So after assembling the, all the particles that is amino acids and different plant, uh, different uh, uh, components that is amino acids and protein coats, they are assembled together and departure to the different plant parts by using physiological process. So various physiological process will happen in plants by using this physiological process they will uh, transport into the different plots, uh, plant parts. So there are mainly two forms of spread can be occurred in a, a plant that is a short distance and a long distance. So in short distance, the plant viruses are spread from cell to cell. Cell to cell is considered as short distance. Whereas in a long distance spread, the plant viruses are transported to different parts of the plant that may be from roots to shoots or maybe different plant parts like leaves or maybe uh, different uh, plant parts. So this is about uh, virus replication and uh, a multiplication mechanism. Now we will see. Uh, some in detail about how uh, you know in a simple outlet so initially it coming in contact with attachment uncoating of viral genome or attachment or uncoating after uncoating what will happen the nucleic uh, protein coat sorry the amino acid alone release after amino acid release transcription and translation will happen so you can see amino acid alone released that is the nucleic acid alone release the nucleic acid is transcripted and translated by this is ribosome this is ribosome uh, by ribosome so ribosome produce the essential components that is required by uh, uh, virus so transcription and translation will happen and uh, the components of virus nucleic acid and protein codes are produced separately after producing the viral components they are coming uh, they are uh, assembled again they start to assemble and then start to produce a huge amount of virus particles uh, the complete matured virus particles are produced that is called virion after production of virion what will happen uh, they start to assemble in a particular place and transport it to the different plant parts and the infection process continues this happens in uh, a virus replication and multiplication process